Look closely at any living organism, and what do you see? The beautiful petals on a rose, a duck waddling its way to the shore, or some birds resting at the dock. You may think that these three animals have almost nothing in common, but if you look closely, you will see that these three animals, and in fact all animals, are made of tiny little structures called cells. The cell was first discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665. He used a very primitive microscope to observe very thin slices of bottle cork, and after seeing what they look like, he called them cells. Today, cells, specifically eukaryotic cells, or cells that do contain a nucleus, are an important part of the study of the human body. These cells are what make up the tissue and many organs in our body, such as the heart or brain. Cell membrane. All the organelles in a cell are similar to the equipment in a factory. For example, the cell membrane is similar to a wall or security gate that often surrounds a factory. The cell membrane is responsible for protecting the contents of the cell and regulating what enters and leaves the cell. And made up of a phospholipid bilayer, its surface houses many protein pumps and channels that control the materials entering and leaving the cell. The membrane also helps in supporting the cell structure and maintain its shape. The nucleus acts as the control center of a cell and is similar to a manager or CEO found in a factory or company. It contains the cell's DNA and is responsible for controlling the growth and reproduction of the cell. The nucleus also aids in the production of ribosomes and various proteins. The nucleus itself is surrounded by a membrane known as a nu nuclear envelope. This membrane helps to maintain the shape of the nucleus and assist in regulating the flow of molecules into and out of the nucleus through nuclear pores. Because of these reasons, the nucleus is often seen as the most important part of a eukaryotic cell. The cytoplasm acts as the factory floor inside a cell. It contains all the organelles found outside the nucleus and enclosed within the cell membrane. The cytoplasm itself is a fluid that is clear in color, has a gel-like appearance, and is compromised mostly of water. It also contains enzymes that help to move materials around the cell and is off cellular waste. The endoplasmic reticulum serves a variety of functions in the cell and is similar to the assembly inside a factory. It is involved in the manufacturing of various substances and the transportation of these substances to various locations in the cell. The two types of endoplasmic reticulums are rough and smooth and they differ in their functions. The rough ER is characterized by the many ribosomes attached to it and aids in the production of various proteins as well as transporting those proteins to the Golgi apparatus so they may be properly placed. The smooth ER does not contain ribosomes and is responsible for synthesizing lipids, phospholipids, and steroids. Ribosomes are the cell organelles that consist of RNA and proteins and are responsible for assembling proteins in the cell. They can be compared to assembly workers working in a factory and the amount found in the cell varies in different types of cells. Ribosomes are found in either the rough endoplasmic reticulum or free-floating in the cytoplasm. They pair specific substances to create proteins that are essential for the cell to function. The Golgi apparatus is responsible for properly packaging assembled proteins before sending them to their final destination. A major function is the modifying, sorting, and packaging of proteins for segregation. They are similar to a packaging or shipping department in a factory. The organelle converts simple molecules into more complex molecules and then either stores them for later use or sends them to their appropriate area. The Golgi apparatus is also responsible for the production of lysosomes. Lysosomes serve as the cell's digestive system, breaking down any worn out cell components or foreign material that may enter the cell. They are similar to a recycling depot, refusing the substances they break down. The lysosome itself is an organelle that houses acidic material inside the lysosome's membrane and contains enzymes created by the rough endoplasmic reticulum which it uses to digest various materials. These materials are then reused then by the cell for various reasons. The mitochondria are the powerhouses of the cell. They use a process known as cellular respiration to generate energy that can be used by the cell. Most of the chemical reactions that take place during cellular respiration occur inside the mitochondria, 
the organelle itself is very small and a large amount of them are usually found in the cytoplasm. The numbers also vary depending on the type of cell they're found in. The mitochondria may also be involved in controlling the concentration of calcium within the cell. The vacuole is a storage bubble found in both plant and animal cells and is responsible for storing away food, nutrients, and waste that may harm other plants of the cell. They are similar to a warehouse storing essential substances away for later use and are much larger in plant cells. Vacuoles may also aid in providing structure for the cell. The makeup of the vacuole is very simpler, only consisting of a membrane that surrounds a pocket of fluids and waste material. Eventually, any waste products found in the vacuole would be sent out of the cell. In conclusion, all the organelles that compose a cell are essential for it to function properly. When all the cells in an organism are properly working together, then all are able to create a much more complex organism, such as an elephant or the human body.